If you don't already have a copy of IPSCAN, you'll want to begin by opening Internet Explorer or another web browser and head to MeritLeland.com. Under the Support tab, and then under the Downloads tab off to the left, this interface will populate. We click on the Software tab, and we scroll to the bottom to find the IP Scan tool. Simply click on the item to begin the download, and make sure that the file is saved to your computer. Once saved, navigate to the directory where the folder was saved. From this point, we'll want to begin by extracting all files from this zip folder. Then, open the unzipped folder and run the executable that's found inside to begin installation. Once installation is complete, you can run IPSCAN. From inside of IPSCAN, you can manage any of the identifying information for a Leland device that's connected with a CAT5 or CAT6 cable to your network, such as the name, IP address, subnet mask, gateway, or port of any Leland device. To configure our IP cameras to communicate on the network where our computer exists, we can go ahead and open up a command prompt window and then type the ipconfig command and then press enter. This will tell us what network ID our computer is currently using as well as the gateway that it's pointing to. From within IPSCAN, we'll want to make sure that each camera's network ID or the first three octets of the IP address match and that the last octet of the IP address is unique for each camera. We also need to make sure that the gateway or router that each camera is pointed to is the same as that of our computer. To change these values for a camera, we simply select one from the list, then come over to the right hand side and make the desired changes. We click apply when finished with each camera in order to save the changes that we've made. Clicking the refresh button will cause IPSCAN to scan the physical network once more and to populate any alleling cameras along with any changes that may have been made. Don't be alarmed if a camera doesn't show up right away after making changes and then clicking refresh. Sometimes it can take more than one refresh for the camera to repopulate. At this time, feel free to move through this list, making necessary changes to any of the camera's identifying information, such as network ID, host ID, gateway, and port. Now that we moved all the way through this list, we can see that each camera has a unique IP address on the same network ID and that all of the gateways match that of our computer. We are now able to come over into Internet Explorer, type in the unique IP address of one of our cameras, and we're now able to load the interface or log into the camera. By default, the credentials are admin and pass, P-A-S-S, -S, all lowercase, to log into a camera fresh out of box. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use IP scan to manage the IP cameras on your Leland install. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Leland Technical Support.